here come the kids. Uh, for preschool. Uh, Actually, one of the great parts about this station is uh, whenever we leave, they love the fire engine. I mean, they will wait along the fence and just say, hi, firefighters. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> guys. See? <laughs> I have a natural affinity for photography. My mother was a photographer. Uh, I would always take pictures as a kid. One of my buddies, who's a techie, told me about these drones. And so I looked it up and I built my own, my first one. I built it from scratch. And then I stuck a GoPro one on it. And the footage was terrible. It was, there was jello everywhere. But the proof of concept was viable. So uh, I built a bigger one. I've been flying him for a long time. <laughs> Wow. My parents came from the Philippines. I'm the first born here. No one's a firefighter in my family. It was a struggle. We grew up in a one bedroom house in Glendale. My grandma slept in like the furnace room. Uh, I went to an ROP school to get my EMT, but being an EMT was not good enough for me. When I'd run 911 calls with the fire department, they were the paramedics. The advanced life support was with the firefighters. And so when I saw what they were doing, I was truly inspired by them being able to provide real patient care. And I wanted to do more. I got hired on the department in 2010. And then I started building these, the drones around that time. I, I didn't see initially the use for drones in the fire service until about a year of filming privately uh, I've flown all over the United States for drones, especially early in the times. I saw its cost effectiveness and speed. We're able to get instant aerial footage right away that's repeatable for a very low cost compared to having a full-on helicopter overhead that takes time, takes manpower, fuel, uh, and is very limited in where it can operate. Let me get this set up. Most of our drones are given the call sign Phoenix because Phoenix is the mythical bird that rises from fire. Our drone program has grown significantly in the past year. Our fleet has grown from one, we started off with the Phantoms, to almost 15 to 20. So let's say we have a fire out in the middle of nowhere and there's a drone overhead. What's the best access? Where's the best way to get to the fire? Where is it? spreading to our OFM side has drones that have thermal imaging cameras and we're starting to convert our fleet to have thermal imaging cameras as well. It's what it can contribute to the safety of our firefighters, help us improve training and provide better overall awareness situationally for all our incidents. I'm Christian Cavada. I'm an engineer at Station 23 in Grand Terrace and I'm proud to serve you.